Hello guys, I haven't done this in a while, but this is going to be an updated view of my custom built PC. Um, not much has changed since the last video. It's more of some different alterations, specifically in this region where I remounted the CPU heatsink. But um, the most significant change is just the addition of a uh, another drive. So what I did was I removed a 2.5 inch um, notebook drive basically I removed it from an external hard drive that I really didn't have much need for in terms of uh, using it as external backup storage so I thought hey why don't, just, why don't I just throw it inside of my desktop and then utilize it as a media drive for all of my downloads and uh, my movies and stuff while the this big drive over here which is what I have set up as my game storage which is what it is currently now this is my game storage drive and the SSD up here which is my boot drive and my main applications and occasionally I will put the game that I'm, I know that I'm going to be playing the most on the SSD so it can load the fastest uh, I believe in the last video I also showed that uh, I had changed my power supply to a company when I do feel the need um, to gain more graphical performance I'm going to throw in another graphic um, uh, another graphics card which is the same HD7850 and put it in this slot over here because this graphic this I mean this power supply supports uh, two six pin PCI Express and the 7850s only utilize one but the 7850 that I have currently right now as you can see here works beautifully every game that I pretty much play can run at that um, the maximum details or the details just below that at 1080p and maintain relatively smooth frame rates but the 7850 that you see right here is highly overclocked pretty much a bit above average on the um, typical overclock that you can uh, you can obtain with the 7850 currently I actually slightly boosted the uh, core clock to 1220 megahertz as opposed to my re my previous 1200 the memory clock is still the same as <clears throat> four, I mean five five thousand four hundred and forty megahertz or one thousand three hundred sixty megahertz. So the memory clock when it comes to the seventy eight fifties or the AMD lines of the Pitcorn GPU, the memory clock does play a role, but is not as significant as the core clock. Uh, what I did with the CPU um, heatsink, basically from the last video, was I sort of mounted it horizontally as a, as as its width. So it can accompany, um, as you can see here, two, uh, two 120 millimeter fans. And basically they are in push-pull configuration. So this fan closest to the GPU over here, it pulls in cool intake air, which really it's not that effective in terms of what you may see on the video because it looks like it's, it's basically pulling the warm um, air off of the surface of the back of this GPU card. But really, my CPU runs very, very cool because I have a temperature monitor in Gadget that monitors the temperature at all times. But what I was trying to set up here was basically a push-pull configuration where it pulls in the cool air, blows it over the heat sink, and then this fan over here pulls the warm air from the heat sink while I have these two, sorry for the poor lighting, uh, these two 120 uh, millimeter fans in the back here which also pulls out the warm air from the heat sink and the rest of the case. Also, there's a 120 millimeter fan in the rear top over here, which also pulls the warm air out. So this is a very, very um, powerful and efficient coolant. My computer is very loud as a result because of all the fans. Also, there are two more 120 millimeter fans over here. They both act as an intake. The one on the top blows in the cool air to cool the in all the all the uh, com, the components over here while this fan down here is responsible for the storage devices or the, the hard drives and the SSD but um, as you've heard in my my last video which I was showing my room set up this cooling method that I have set up here is is very effective but at the same time it's very loud and the reason being is because these fans um, the majority of them are hardwired to the power supply so basically they're going to be spinning at 12 volts at all times so they're going to be rather noisy as a result so I'm going to end up buying a fan controller which allows me to apply the amount of voltage that is necessary for the task so basically since it's winter time right now 
even while gaming or video editing my computer still really doesn't need this much cooling so when I get this fan controller I'm going to probably kickstart the fans and let them um, idle about five to seven volts uh, the fans that are that are plugged in directly to the, the headers on the motherboard now I can control those but even if I drop those fans down to five volts the fans that are over here running at 12 volts still overpowers them and I can still hear a lot of noise but I've got accustomed to the noise even though it is rather noisy it's like your 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 arm um, your brain does kind of get accustomed to it but when I as soon as I turn the computer off it's like oh my god the silence but I'm gonna get a fan controller because when I do um, take off my gaming headset and you know try to web browse and all that the, the computer does really get somewhat annoying sounding like I'm behind of an airplane engine but hey as, as long as I know it's running very cool so uh, it's pretty much been a tour of my custom built PC if I left out anything that you guys may have, maybe have wanted to know feel free to ask in the comments uh, thanks for watching this video guys later